You can transform your matrix tables from this to this by really understanding how they work and then knowing where the hidden features are behind the formatting tabs. Hi guys, it's the Power BI guy and if this is your first time coming across the channel, feel free to like and subscribe for more Power BI tips and tutorials. Matrix tables are a default visualization that we can insert into our Power BI report. By selecting matrix table, we can see three new fields that we can insert our columns into. These are roles, columns and values. By dragging one of our columns into roles, we're essentially just displaying our column as is as you would in any table. Columns work slightly differently, however. By dragging one of our columns into uh, columns, it's going to make each row an individual column within your table. So this is particularly useful for, let's say, we want to see our information at a row level, but then split another category, for example, uh, months or years into an individual column. Well, we can use anything for this. So we could bring in a product subcategory information or whatever you want to show at a column level, you can bring that in. And then we have values. By dragging one of our measures or columns into values, we're essentially just displaying our data that we want to see by the row and column split that we have. Now you can insert multiple calculations or columns into values, and then this will split your columns further into each calculation. So in my example, I have my sum of sales, then I have my order count, and we can see this has been split by um, sales and then count of orders by our months. So now let's say we want to display more information at our role levels. So we want to actually break down and drill down into another level. We can do this by dragging our column again into roles and either positioning that above or below. But by default, we have to click drill down and then it just drills down to that level displaying everything. Let's say we want to expand and collapse our, our roles so we can actually look at subsets. By going to format, role headers and enabling plus or minus icons, we can allow our users to make that selection. But if we look at the formatting of the table, the lower level is literally just displayed right underneath it. What if we wanted that next to it as like a column per se? We can do this by first we have to expand all our values, so expand all the data. So you right click your column and then expand all. Then from there we go to format, row headers and turn it off a step layout. So what this will do is your column that's the lower level will now be positioned next to your original higher level column. And then we can disable plus or minus icons if we don't want our users to draw uh, to click plus or minus icons. So now that we've formatted our roles, let's say we wanted another level above our column headers. So we have our monthly split. So each month is an individual column. But let's say above that we want to show our quarters to have like a grouping. What we do is we bring our column once again above the column that we want to place in the columns field. And then from there, we need to enable the selection to be not on rows, on columns. And then we can expand all, and this will show our uh, higher level above that initial column header that we had. So hopefully this content was useful. For more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I hope you guys had a good day and I'm checking out.